Hey everybody, so I wanted to do a quick follow-up video to that original one, uh, original kind of first impressions look on the Odyssey Arc Gen 2. So what I've managed to do is plug in my PC via DisplayPort and HDMI um, to the Odyssey Arc Gen 2. And what I've actually got set up here is dual monitors um, across two separate inputs. Kind of interesting. Um, if you look at display settings, you can see I have the two monitors set up. Uh, both monitors are running, uh, no HDR, but they are running at uh, 1920 by 1080 at 120 hertz. And what's really cool um, is you <laughs> like have this weird sort of virtualized monitor um, with this kind of strange middle ground, right? Like I've, I've done dual monitors and you always have kind of like two frames, but in this way you kind of get this frameless aspect um, of both monitors, which is pretty neat um, to be honest. Um, it also will allow you in, in situations where if you're presenting, like from a kind of like a work perspective, right? So a lot of my days I'm doing demos and I only wanna share a certain portion of my screen. This kind of allows you to do two screens. Now this, I'd like to compare it to the um, other Odyssey, I thought the Arc, it's the, it's called the G9, I believe. Um, but Samsung's other ultra wide monitor, I think it's a 29 by, 21 by nine ratio. That is two 4K screens next to each other. Um, this is 55 inches and it's 1920 by 1080 stacked next to each other, right? So in theory, it's, it's about half the resolution spread out to almost the exact same size, right? 57 inches versus 55. Um, so it's definitely not as resolution heavy or <laughs> it's less resolution uh, density when compared to the other ultra wide. Now the benefit, right, is that we get all this extra space um, on the top and the bottom. Uh, but the question is, what can we do with that extra space? So this is where, in my opinion, things do get a little limited. So what I would like to do, let me delete the second screen so I'm only looking at one uh, PC view and I'm out of the multi-view. I think I'll switch back to the display uh, port input. Um, so yeah, this is a good example, right? So I have my display port input um, and it's set, you can customize the aspect ratio um, under the options. So you can see I've got it set to game mode, picture mode, uh, picture setup, but I've essentially set it up to be an ultra wide, right? So I think it's under screen ratio, right? So I've set it to be actually 32 by nine. Now the idea or the hope that I had uh, was that I would be able to apply this as one PC monitor and then add an additional uh, 13 or 32 by nine ultra wide, right? Now, I the reason <laughs> I think you can't do this um, for probably for many reasons, but the, the first initial reason is it's just too much resolution density for the screen in and of itself. So if I go into here and I go to display settings, we are actually getting, um, I'm not able to see the display settings, this is great. Um, but the actual resolution is essentially like a 4K resolution, but it's spread out in this ultra wide aspect ratio. Now, back to my previous point, uh, I would love to be able to get another you know, 32 or whatever I said, ultra wide, so I can have two stacks, right? That would be the dream. So I can hit multi-view and I go, okay, cool. Let's just add HDMI three, uh, which is the same PC uh, hooked up via HDMI 2.1, right? So just to kind of back it up, right? I have PCs connected via the 4090 via DisplayPort and the same PC 4090 is also connected to HDMI three. So it's like, oh, cool. It's stacked it's on top of each other. So you hit this, and we're not gonna get that, right? It's gonna switch back, it's gonna turn off game mode, and it's gonna have two 1080 by 1920 or 1920 by 1080, 1080p resolution monitors uh, next to each other. So then your next question might be, okay, cool, this is okay. Um, you know, what, what, else, what else can I add here? Um, and you know, maybe I wanna do something like you know, adding YouTube. Because ultimately what we're looking at here now um, is not really anything different uh, than what you would get or a little less than what we get with an ultra wide uh, with 4K by 4K, right? We're getting 19, we're getting two 1080p monitors stacked next to each other. But what's the deal with all this space, right? Right? Like, what are we doing with all this extra? Uh, these two black bars, right? Let's put some more input. So, right? So I could say, all right, you know, let's turn on my PS5, and I can add that um, or a Nintendo Switch to the overall. Uh, multi-view, right? Um, the, the issue with that is if I add, 
I believe it's HDMI 2. If I add the PS5, it's all got to recalibrate, which is fine. Um, the only issue with that is now it's going to be affecting my overall resolution, um, or I should say refresh rate of my uh, PC monitor. So if I go to display settings and I go to, blah, 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 I'm still at 1080p, right? If you can see that. Um, but if I go to advanced display, uh, my refresh rate has dropped down to 60 Hertz and I can feel that, right? Like I was talking about before, I definitely noticed some more latency with my mouse. Um, if I had gone through here and it's also the, the, the video quality is degraded a bit. If I go here and I kill, uh, the PS five, right. I'm back to here. Boom. I'm, I'm back to things. I'm actually not back to things being smooth. <laughs> like you have to manually go back and I'm used to this. You actually have to manually go back and switch back to 120 Hertz hasn't even given me the ability to switch back, right? So it's a little buggy in that aspect. My guess is that it's matching the PS5 refresh rate. Um, I'm gonna try and I'm curious to see what would happen if I added um, three HDMI imports that were able to hit 120 Hertz um, or even another computer, right? What would that look like? So stay tuned for that. Well, let's see if that works. Um, if not, I'll cover that either way. All right, so we're gonna try this together. So I actually have got, um, my computer, my 4090 hooked up to <laughs> my Arc Odyssey via DisplayPort natively, HDMI 2.1, and then a HDMI 2.1 to DisplayPort adapter because I only have uh, one HDMI on the back of my 4090, so I have to use an adapter. Um, but I know for a fact the adapter will still let you get uh, 4K at 60 hertz, so it shouldn't be a problem to get um, 1080p at 120 hertz. Um, so anyways, if anybody knows anything differently and if I'm incorrect in that assumption, please let me know. Um, but let's see what would happen here. So essentially what I'll start off with um, is by selecting the PC. I think it's still in that weird aspect ratio that we set, but that's not really an issue because once we set up multi-view, um, yeah, so there it is. We're on uh, PC, which is our first input, it's our display port. I'm gonna hit multi-view here and I'm gonna choose our HDMI 2.1. This is the same PC, like I mentioned. Okay, it's gonna split it before us into two. Again, we've got that really silky smooth 120 hertz refresh rate, pretty sweet. Uh, now the moment of truth, we're gonna add our third display in multi-view, which is going to be um, HDMI 3, which is recognized as a computer, rightfully so. Thank you, Samsung. Um, and we'll see what happens. All right, so it's created somewhat of a monstrosity, I would, <laughs> I would hate to say, um, but we've got one computer with three uh, monitors that have been set up. Um, what's kind of cool is that if I go to display settings, I've kind of set up a, a uh, kind of display orientation that accounts for where those monitors are in this kind of virtual space. Uh, it does work. The only issue that I'm experiencing now is there is some latency um, in, in my opinion, you know, being really, really high strung, I wouldn't really want to use this um, considering how much latency there is. I'm at a 60 hertz refresh rate, but again, I believe there's something that's bottlenecking this and it's causing it to be a little less responsive. Okay, so as a final test, uh, we want to see if we can get to 120 hertz on multiple displays regardless of the input source. Uh, there is Somewhat of an argument to say, hey, maybe the 4090 can't support uh, three 1920 by 1080 outputs at 120 hertz or at 60. So we're gonna test that um, to see where the limitation lies. So I've got a MacBook hooked up and I've got my PC as well. Um, HDMI 3 is gonna be our first input. This is our input in the RTX 4090 and we should get there we go, 4K at 165 Hertz, right? So this is a solo monitor, that's great. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's add the MacBook, which should have support for 120 Hertz. Go to multi-view and our MacBook is on HDMI one. All right, so you can see the MacBook's coming to life. Okay, and you'll see that the Odyssey Arc is listed in here. What is cool to even notice is you can see, hold on, I gotta go on my MacBook to show you guys this. Um, this is like mouse hell. 
Um, sorry about that. All right, you can see that we have a refresh rate of 120 hertz right there, right? On the MacBook, and then, again, we go back to our Mr. PC here, I can go to display settings and I can go, oh shoot, it's on the other monitor. But this is definitely 120, <laughs> if not 60 hertz, I can tell it's snappy, right? Um, but let's try now kind of the, the key point here is adding the third display. So right now we have two monitors that are at 120 hertz. Um, let's add our third one. This will also, also be from the uh, same computer itself. But you'll remember, we were able to do two uh, 120 hertz side-by-side -side HDMI and DisplayPort, meaning if this is 120 hertz, it should be able to, to support two 120 hertz outputs based on the graphics card, because we've done that before, right? And now we've added the MacBook, meaning that we've narrowed out the fact that there's a limitation on the RTX 4090 to output three displays at 120 hertz. So anyways, let's add our third uh, display, we're gonna go to a display port and this will be the moment of truth here. Let's see what we get. All right, so it's thinking, it's thinking and it feels okay, actually. Um, let's take a look at the resolution that we've got. Um, so looking here, I'm at 1920 by 1080 and our advanced display, oh, says that we're at 60 Hertz. Unfortunately, um, I will say it doesn't feel super, super sluggish. Um, this is actually somewhat usable um, in, a, in a workplace setting. Um, I could definitely set, ha see myself having these three devices set up. Um, it does kind of suck that having anything over two devices will drop you down to the 60 Hertz and will introduce some sort of input lag um, maybe we'll see a firmware update to, to address that, but that is where it stands now. Definitely, if you have a, a console device like a PS5, you will notice it less. Um, but of course, you know, if you add the PS5, um, you will be dropping your frame rate down or your responsiveness down quite a bit. So it's honestly very complicated and I'm still trying to figure out um, the best use case for this monitor. I definitely don't think um, having two side-by-side -side 120 hertz monitors makes really any sense. <laughs> You're better off just uh, spending the money and getting uh, the 4K by 4K, uh, what is it, the G9, the, the newest one? Anyways, that's a better bargain than doing two you know, 1080p by 1080p. Um, so anyways, I'm still trying to figure out the best value prop for this. Please ask any questions in the comments below. I'm still figuring out this device um, you know, it's only been a couple of days, so any feedback or questions are welcome. We'll see where this thing falls. At $2,000, it's, it's not a terrible buy, but I just wanna find a, a sweet spot to where this product uh, outperforms others in its area. Um, right now, I have a LG OLED. That's a 49 inch uh, C2, C3, um, but I'm super happy with it, right? And it's like, is this going to unseat that? Uh, at, it was almost three times the price. Um, this is a $2,000 monitor. You can get a 47 inch OLED uh, for around 800, 900. Um, so yeah, we're trying to see where the value prop lies and we will keep exploring. Please leave any comments or questions below. Thanks y'all.